in top eight? Four juries in top eight, guys. She was swept under the rug, but we're starting to find out jury could possibly be the best. She has all the tools necessary. Look at the fast drive rush. Feta did start first, so that's why he did get the drive rush, but she has a fast drive rush anyways. And look at the bait. The bait by Faded. Whoa, Faded is scary. What is this right? What is this nonsense right now? What Kayvon, he needs an answer. Nothing's happening for him right now. No answer. Faded convincingly taking that first round. And they oh, and they don't even press start. They're going they're letting the the winning round uh, poses rock. And okay, okay, Kayvon got something started finally, but no. Faded, striking back, saying, no, sir, I still want my momentum. And Kayvon says, no, it's my turn for momentum. You got it the last round. <gasps> and see, Faded's just like, get off of me. Can Kayvon bait? No. Faded all over him right now. Drive impact into super. But Kayvon does have level two. He does have level two. He's doing okay. We still believe in him. He's looking a lot better than that last round. For sure. Faded gave it all. He got that, that first round, and it, it's, he's tiring out now. His brain is just, it was on overdrive that first round, but he's still looking good. Okay, one more hit should do it. <gasps> and Kayvon said, here's a taste of your own medicine. Wake up EX just for you, baby. Oh, what? He didn't block. He didn't block. He could have level twoed or level one or maybe just blocked. And this is the next round. Here we go. Faded with that first one convincingly. Kayvon could have did something in that last round, but hey, let's shake off. Let's shake it off. Right now he got faded in the corner. Looking nice right now. Oh, and faded is burnt out. Faded does have Kayvon in the corner. Couldn't do nothing about that drive impact. Beautiful. Kayvon slowly putting faded into the corner. He's working it right now. Both are burned out though. So you're not gonna see any drive impact. You're just gonna see rush down like a crazy man. And okay, Kayvon trying to grab. Nice jump by Faded. And Faded going straight for the drive impact once he's seen he had some drive gauge. And okay, Kayvon took a round. This is what we want to see. We didn't want to just see a wash. Faded was striking hard that first match. But okay, Kayvon taking the, the first round of the second match. He's looking a little better. Faded chilling though. Okay, faded with a little more health and drive gauge. And Kayvon put himself in the corner with that drive drive impact. You know, or Kayvon, you know faded loves to jump out of the corner like most people. When they're in the corner and you got that drive impact loaded and ready, they're just, they just want to jump. Wow, one time you actually named your daughter, second daughter uh, Cammy, and oh my goodness, faded. Nice punish. Is he going to get this second round? Okay. Wow, Kayvon looking so nice. He needs a couple more hits. Oh, but no, Faded. He's good at knowing when to just say, get the hell off of me and use his uh, reversal. <laughs> One time Hero's a jokester in the chat. And okay, Faded. It's basically tie game right now, but Kayvon needs this match to stay in it. Faded is ready at one, and he misses. Kayvon oh, doesn't put Faded in the corner. He just gets the grab. Does he get a punish? No, he gets another grab. Cammy loves to grab. Oh, nice meaty. Okay, he got those combos. He needs one more combo. Oh, nice. Wow, got the, gots those anti-airs. Good reactions. And wow, first strike going to Faded. Looking good so far. But Kayvon does have Faded in the corner. He, he has less drive gauge. No, now Faded. Faded. Oh, Kayvon. Oh, and he, he just got burnt out. Faded still basically has half drive gauge left. Good grabs by Kayvon, though. He's looking good. He's looking good. It's 1-1. One, one. Wow, is it? How did Kayvon just turn this around? Faded was looking dominating the first uh, the first match. No, you cannot drive rush after um, Jury drive rushes. She's too fast. Her drive rush, what, is second best? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think she's... Guys, chat, tell me, 
Tell me, who wants to see a Shadowloo DLC with all four Shadowloo bosses? Come on. Sagat and Bison, Vega, Balrog. They need to be in this game. That would be a travesty if they were not in this game. Come on. This is so, the, 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 the way this game plays, every character is fun. So I'd love to see them in it. Yeah, Shadowloo Shadow Loop pack. Come on. After after these four DLCs that are going to come out, give us the Shadowloo pack. Come on. But right now, Kayvon giving it to Faded. Dang, one-time hero. You've had some uh, Vega trouble in the past, haven't you? You're not about Vega. Imagine Vega in this game. Holy moly. That's something else. But right now, Faded trying to make this comeback. He said, I have this whole, this whole match. What's going on? Kayvon, look at how patient Kayvon's playing now. He's like, I got this. He's looking good. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Faded. He's striking hard and fading away without a trace. And he's going to come back. No! Just going to level three. CA time. Oh, they don't want to show the cheeks. And here it is. Hello. Goodbye. Wow, and just like that, Kayvon turned it around. The adaptation... And Jose, Jozer. So Germs and Jozer. Ladies and gentlemen, we got Germs as Guile and Jozer as JP. Which a lot of people thought at CEO we were going to see a lot of JPs in top 8, but it was actually Juries in top 8. And right now, Jozer looking really good with this JP. Setting up, being annoying as JP should. Oh, and just like that, Germs. Used all the drive gauge. He's burnt out already. Jozer's still looking so good. A lot of health. He's playing so patient. Nice flash kick by Germs, though. He's trying to make this comeback. Good grab. That's going to help him. And he got his drive gauge back. Oh, and he didn't recover in time. And that's going to be it. Jozer taking the first round. Oh, man, and he goes for EX grab. Just like that. You gotta jump. Jump the EX grab. That's tricky when he just throws it out there. Nice by Germs. Looking good. Okay, got the combo. Nice. Beautiful. Oh, into it. Burns himself out though. But he's right now, he's on the offense, so he doesn't care that he's burnt out. It's fine, he says. I don't mind at all. And, and right now, watch out though. Jozer has three bars of super meter. Germs only has two. Jozer at any moment could at least three bar super. <gasps> and Germs is ready now for the grab. Jozer doesn't have much drive gauge to work with. Germs waiting for his moment. And whoa, he tried to parry. And he gets grabbed again. You cannot parry that, that grab. He's sneaking it in there. Jozer sneaking it in a little much. You can't punish him if you're in jump distance. All right, going right back into it. Give us, give it, giving us what we want, the action. All right, Germs looking a lot better. Is Are we going to see a repeat of uh, the last match where the guy adapted and took the second and third match? Because right now, oh, and Germs misses, misses. He misses the flash kick, but he still has, he still has Jozer in the corner. Oh no, Jozer just put Germs in the corner. Jo, jo, Germs is burnt out as well. Oh, the offense right now. He's coming back. He, he did come back. He's in the life lead now. Jozer's looking so good. Germs had this. He just burns himself out a little much. Okay, and one-time hero. We know who he's going for. He wants Jozer to take this. He's cheering him on. Oh, and Germs, not much life to work with. Wow. Jozer got to going on. And we, we cut to the, to the player camps for a little bit. We got to see how they're feeling. And all right. Germ's trying to figure something out. He's trying to parry the ghost a little too much. Jozer, wow, into level three. Oh, not much life left for Germs. This is going to be hard. A hard fought match. What's it going to be? Okay, beautiful parries. He didn't want to deal with anything. He said, get off me, you pervert. I don't want any of that. And almost got hit into the wall. But he lives to fight another day. Okay, he drive rushes, got, gets nothing out of it. He got to go in now for Jozer because Jozer's burnt out. And again, gets the drive impact into super. 
Cannot flash kick. You could only EX flash kick that. <gasps> he tried jumping in, but Jozer, all the answers. Anti airs. And okay, Jozer taking, dude. Let's see what they got. Seventh trumpet and Kink going at it. Who's getting this first? Who's getting the first hit? Come on, place your bets. Oh my gosh, Kink got it. Kink got the first hit and big combo. And he knows the Manon combos. He just became really scary now. I wasn't sure if he got those, but he got those. <gasps> but Seventh Trumpet got the reactions and almost burns out Kink. Kink, not much drive gauge left. Okay. Oh, looking good right now, though. Oh, and he used it to try to get the EX grab. Didn't work out. Kink is in burnout. Seventh Trumpet looking so good. He got some combos, and he burns himself out to do this ginormous combo. Big damage. Got Kink in the corner. What is Kink going to do? And this is where, see, some people say Manon is top tier. Some say it's like she's average. But I think she's the only character that changes tier list while she's playing. The more, the less medals she has later on in the match, I think the more low tier she is. But, I mean, if she has five medals first match, that's top tier. So, right now, Trumpet looking nice. Again, Kink only has two medals so far, so not going to do a lot of damage. You got to get those medals up. And you're going to see a lot of damage right now by 7th Trumpet. Going into level 3 DJ. Oh, and Kink. Kink only has one drive gauge left. 7th Trumpet, all the drive gauge in the world. But Kink strikes back. This is his opportunity. What can he do with it? Oh, goodness. They're, they're scrambling. And wow, seven trumpet with that first, the first match, looking good. He's looking nice. Okay, second match. S Kink wasn't down by much. He wasn't down by much. He needed to get those grabs in. Again, he's, he tried to, he tried to get that ex grab. He whiffed it. He's already at half life. How? The match just started. Kink's trying to get anything started, but seven trumpet just has all the answers right now. What can Kink do? Right now, he just needs to work on getting those grabs. He needs he needs me work on medals. Concede the round, but just work on the medals. Get those medals, dude. There you go. Okay. He has two medals now. Just work on getting the medals. He's looking good, though. Okay. Nice. Gets a big combo. Again, three medals. Now we're seeing a different, a different Manon at play. We're seeing a better Manon here. Even if he loses this round, he ha at least has three medals, so that's good. And he does lose the round. It's okay. But he is on life support now. Match point for 7th Trumpet. Okay, trying to get something started. 7th Trumpet already at only two drive gauges. Oh, about to get three drive gauges. Kink. Oh, that was nice by Kink. But he doesn't get anything off of it. He's trying to style with Manon. And nice. Wow, good combo by 7th Trumpet. And one more combo by 7th Trumpet should do it if he level threes. So watch out. Oh, oh my goodness. The Kink, what happened? He had the combo. He drive impacted him in the corner. Kink, not, that was a crucial drop. He's flabbergasted. Oh, and just like that, Seven Trumpet takes advantage of it all. Up! He thumbs up. Yes, it is top stream. You guys know all the facts. Thank you. All right. And right now, low key versus Sal Pacino. DM him, Sal Pacino. But Loki right now putting Sal Pacino in the corner. Looking good. Oh, Sal Pacino trying to swing on Loki. It's still looking at, like anyone's game. Whoa, and Sal Pacino got some stuff with Cami. Is he the favorite? What do you guys think? Is he the favorite to take uh to take Youthnet or what? Oh my god, and he says, You are not gonna drink on me, sir. I don't want that. But he but Loki still does have level two drink. He's already at level two. Oh, he got the combo! And yes, he converts big time. Nice. Wow, good stuff. But can Sal get out of this corner? He needs to do something right now. He drive impacts, but Loki blocks. Loki tries to fire back. Sal Pacino, fully punishing. But kind of puts himself in the corner. That's scary. And who's going to take this first match? Loki is burnt out. Oh, he goes for the... Still chipped him out. He went for the, the, you know, the reversal. But he still got chipped out by Sal Pacino taking the first round. That was a good battle. I liked that battle. And whoa, Sal Pacino grooving now. I think he's feeling himself. He's feeling the groove. 
He's put slowly pushing Loki into the corner. Okay, now they're back in the middle. Loki, beautiful. That was a shimmy. That was a jump shimmy. It's crazy. You don't have to just shimmy back and forth. You could shimmy just hold neutral jump, and people will try to grab you. <gasps> was that an? Oh, he baited it. He baited Sal Pacino. And now he has Sal Pacino in the corner. Loki, oh, try to grab, but Sal Pacino, crucial grab tech, but Loki still taking the round. Tie game, guys. Here we go. Who's taking this first match? Both are on point right now. This is scary. I'd be scared to play both of these guys. What is this right now? We barely see Jamie play. Why is that, guys? We barely see Jamie play, but this Jamie's working it. Sal Pacino, though, looking nice. Oh, but low-key keeping Sal Pacino in the corner. He figured out that's Sal Pacino's weakness right now. That's his kryptonite. He's getting stuck in this corner. <gasps> Sal Pacino, I think. Oh, my God, the perfect parry. Loki flexing, feeling himself hard. Sal Pacino says, I want to get out of here. But no answer. Sal Pacino tried. And, oh, wow, he's thinking hard. That's good. I like that. Chill. Right now, Loki, is, he has some momentum. He's chilling. Okay, he goes back into it. All right. What can it be now? What, what is it? Sal Pacino has the answers. He doesn't have to worry. I believe this will go to a game three. It can. These are two gladiators right now going at it. Oh, and nice reactions by Sal Pacino. I like what I see so far. Both really conserving their drive gauge. And Loki only has one drink right now. That is bad right now, and he has not a lot of life left. And whoa, dominating round by Sal Pacino. He didn't like that he lost that first match. He, he doesn't like, he doesn't feel like uh, he disappointing his audience <gasps> and what a greedy little greedy Loki flexing is he tried taking two drinks Sal Pacino taking full advantage puts himself in the corner but he hopped right back out he has he has PTSD from the, that other uh, match from being in the corner and oh no Loki though keeping Sal Pacino in this corner <gasps> this is his kryptonite can he get out of there yes he does he grabs Loki flex and puts him in the corner Loki flex and not much life to work with Whoa, and he just held that parry forever. And Sal Pacino not biting. He's like, no, sir. And wow, this was a dominating performance by Sal Pacino. Okay, can Loki flex and adapt as, as Sal Pacino did? Nice first combo. Not much damage, but it was a nice first punish by uh, Loki Flexen. And Loki Flexen looking nice right now. Uh-oh, and ladies and gentlemen, everyone chant, get out of the corner, Sal Pacino, because you know that's where he hates to be. That's where Loki gets all his damage. Nice block so far. They're playing a lot more patience. Beautiful parry. <gasps> Sal Pacino burns himself out. This early? This can't be good. This can't be good. Do not get in the corner, Sal Pacino. You are burned out, sir. Don't you dare. Don't you dare, sir. It's slowly. Loki slowly pushing Sal Pacino in the corner. But now Loki is burnt out. Sal Pacino about to get his drive gauge back. And wow. What a... No, it drops. He thought he had it! Loki Flex to take it full advantage! Loki knows that Sal Pacino is, is, is distraught from that drop, but Sal Pacino recovers and still gets the round. Match point for Sal Pacino, guys. Come on, cheer for him in the chat. I'll bring him over to the stream and show him how much uh, how much love he got in the chat. And oh my goodness, okay. Loki not done yet. Beautiful block. Whoa. And the grab tech. And again. Okay. Low key with the combo. Looking really good this round. And uh-oh time for Sal Pacino. He's in the corner. He needs to get out or it's death for him. <gasps> he was holding the parry. Nothing. Uh, low key didn't bite. Low key is burnt out though. Sal Pacino could make this comeback this round and take the whole match. Oh, and tr Sal Pacino tried drive impacting. Low key jumping out saying, I don't want none of that. And Loki about to get his drive gauge back. And Sal Pacino still in burnout. But he does get the super. He needs basically maybe one combo. One nice little combo to take this. Loki, nice parry. Okay. He, he wants to get him now. He needs to get him now. Oh, big punish. Huge punish. And he gets the round. It's all tied up. It's all tied up. Who's it going to be? Wow, these guys are playing out of their mind. Wow. Okay, first strike goes to Loki Flexen. He's going on the offense hard right now. Sal Pacino says, I got the D for your offense, though. And now he got the offense. Beautiful combo. Whoa. 
Loki, not much more life to work with. He's at basically half life, less than half life. Sal Pacino got all the meter in the world. He got two bars of meter. Loki still has three bars of meter, so not too bad. His drive gauge is dwindling, though. His drive gauge is dwindling. <gasps> and that's it! Sal Pacino! I mean, someone's got to commentate for Michael. Michael got second at Capital Fight District against LPN in such a close set. It was amazing. All right. I don't know who this geek is. Jot. Jot. Who's Jot? Let me see. Oh, yeah. Michelangelo's definitely going to be in the top three today, for sure. This DJ is seasoned. And he's probably going to drop Mortal Kombat for this game. I have a good feeling. Uh. Yeah, no one's going to see that. The boom. Ooh, the fake boom. Michael was really good at doing the fake boom trap. What's Geef gonna do, dude? What's he gonna fuck? Like, what? He can't do nothing. Ooh, that's plus. Oh, this is. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> How is he juggling a 500 pound man in the air like that? That's crazy. Alright, first round goes to Michael. Good job, Michael. Max. Ooh, the Jot, Jot is going to have to do some, like, empty jump drive rush or something. He's got to do something. Oh, there's that fake, but usually Michael does the fake into the slide, but it's okay. He's got other plans. Oh, that was a nice little dirty, sneaky drive impact. Oh, is that punishable? There we go. All right, Jot. Unfortunately, Geef gets no real Oki. And here we are back to the, there's that, there, that, that's the Michelangelo right there. I call that the Michelangelo. He's been doing that since day one. Ouch. All right, Jot. You might have to like start empty jumping. Oh, you should have rush canceled that, but it's okay. Yeah, if you, if you block those fireballs, they're gonna burn out your, your overdrive bar. Oh, no, no, no. Michael just controlling the whole match, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael is not, a, he's not afraid to get near Geef. Like, oh, he can grab you. He's like, I don't care. Ooh, max out. He's seen an eagle and it, he said, that's it. All American. Have to play Ken. And he came back and he's a rejuvenated man. He was playing Lily. Didn't didn't work out. And now he's Ken. Scunchin, the seven trumpet. You guys know him. You love him. And whoa, did you guys see the shimmy by seventh trumpet? Scary stuff to start it off. That's gonna play into Scunchin's mind. And again! Jeez! And he got all the bag of tricks. Oh, didn't didn't end it though. Didn't end it. And this could this could come back to bite him. Nice. Wow. And when you parry and you get grabbed, that's big damage for you. Oh my gosh! And Scunchin, he's just like, I'm. This is why I'm playing Ken to just grab loop you to death. Oh, and the seven trumpet was just so up in life, and just like that, Scunchin with those grabs. That's how you win. Jeez. Can can se seven trumpet that that's gonna play a big factor into, into his head right now. Just getting grabbed to death. Scunchin's found the answer. Does he have anything else for us? Right now he's just killing it. He's killing it right now with these grabs. 
He burnt himself out, okay. But man, Seven Trumpet doesn't tech. He doesn't tech. Is his tech not working or what? Jeez. He's in a Sharyuken after this. Yes, he did. That was big damage. And I guess Gunchen has found the weakness to Seven Trumpet. Grabs all day. Why not? If it works, don't fix it. And okay, does Seven Trumpet have the answer? He needs to tech a lot more grabs. He's just like, I don't want to get shimmy. He, 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 he doesn't like getting shimmied. He thinks it's a bad look. So he's not about that. Oh, he goes for all the juice. Some good damage right there, too. Trying to get a shimmy, but Scunchin not biting. Now Seven Trumpets in the corner. Okay, Scunchin went for a grab. We see some now. We see some grabs from Scunchin finally. He needed that. Oh my gosh. And he got the combo. Big damage. Yes. We love it. He's going for all the juice. He went for all the juice. Okay. He's fighting back now. We love it. Yes, shake it off, lady says. Don't get grabbed anymore. He's tired of it. Wow, and Scunchin just jabbed him out of that. Okay, Scunchin with basically the first combo of the round. Uh-oh, got seventh Trumpet in the corner. How many grabs are we seeing, chat? How many? Is seventh Trumpet going to allow this? No, he doesn't. He texts. Seventh Trumpet actually texts. Oh, but he doesn't tech that time. Gets perfected. Match point for Scunchin. He's bringing the heat. Okay, seven Trumpet throwing some booms out. Nice, nice punish. He needs this round or Scunchin will move on. He doesn't want to go to loser's bracket. Oh, oh, he had a combo, but he dropped it. <gasps> and Scunchin taking full advantage. This is not looking good for seven Trumpet. He was up in life. Scunchin now has four bars of drive gauge. He just used it for the drive rush. They're oh, and Seven Trumpet just used his last drive gauge. He's in burnout now. <gasps> but he blocks. He blocks against Scunchin. He, he does the level three and takes the round. Taking the match. It's 1-1 one, one, all tied up. We love it. Yeah, we love it. All tied up. Seven Trumpet still has some bite in him. Now who's really gonna who's really gonna go in? Who's really taking it now? Got seventh looking pretty good so far. He got a bag of tricks up his sleeve. Nice. I like the dodging the Hadoukens like that. That looks nice. What else could he do? Okay, basically seventh seventh trumpet corners. Corner scutcheon, but he needs the combos. Remember those other times he dropped it and got himself in the corner? He needs to get it now. The combo. Look at the damage, guys. But it burnt him out. Is that going to bite him in the rear? No, it doesn't. He got the combo. One more hit. But Scunchin's still alive. Okay. Now it's match point for Seven's Trumpet with his DJ. We jump in now. Okay. First strike to Seven's Trumpet. But Scunchin getting that damage right now. Puts Seven Trumpet in the corner. Okay. Nice. I like what I see. Beautiful anti-air by Scunchin. Again, putting Seven Trumpet in the corner. This round's looking scary for Seven Trumpet. Do not test Gunchin's anti-airs. It's going to get you. And we're all tied up. Only one will move on in winners. Beautiful anti-air. Seven Trumpet saying, I got anti-airs of myself, but Scunchin, great combo to put Seven Trumpet in this corner. He tried dodging with backdash. It didn't work out. Scunchin gets the full animation on the level three. Big damage. Seven Trumpet, not much to work with. It's looking bad because he's in the corner as well. He's about to get level three, though. <gasps> he tried drive rushing, and Scunchin said, Sir, I can react to that. I can react to that. Wow, he was waiting for it. Jeez. What a dominant. Interesting, guys. Interesting. Joe Capsule better represent. Oh, wait a minute. Joes are, Joes are not moving. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <gasps> What was that? Guys, what happened? I knew it! Joe Capsule rigged the arcade machine! 
He rigged it. <laughs> he rigged the arcade machine so Jozer, you know, at any point, Joe Capsule could just push a button and Jozer's buttons will turn off. All right, we're back. Joe Capsule, Jozer. What's it going to be? Right now, it's Jozer. Full combo. He got the giant jump in. That was a big jump in already, putting Joe Capsule in the corner. And whoa, Jozer is feeling himself. This is, in sca this is scary. Is he really running on a perfect? He's really showing how, how to play JP, and that was a perfect. Dang, Jozer is scary. What? What do we do against this man? Okay, starting it off again. Okay, Joe Capsule got something going now. Okay, come on, Joe. Show those skills. Show those old man skills. Show them you could still do it, man. Give us inspiration here. You know, a lot of us are getting into the, our mid-30s. Show us that it's not it's not bleak um, over the hill. But right now, Jozer again looking so nice. Joe Capsule does have more drive gauge than 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 Jozer. Jozer's burnt out. Joe Capsule needs to take full advantage. And he does. He goes for level three. It misses! It misses! Julio, Julio, the JP of the world, just putting his hands over his head. He had that. And now Jozer. Okay, he could still have it though. And he. Nope. Jozer taking full advantage of that. The stream is giving Jozer luck right now. Joe Capsule dropping the level three. How dare he? But it's okay. Could still be anyone's game here. Uh, Jozer is 1 0. And okay. Wow, nice shimmy by Joe Capsule. No, wait, that's Jozer. My bad. Shoot. Jo okay, Jozer is a demon. He's a demon. He's a little snake in the, in the grass. And he's coming. He's coming. He's venomous. Okay. Jozer's setting up, looking so good. Joe Capsule, hey. He's over here busy running tournaments. He, he can't keep up with these youngins anymore. It's tough. It's tough right now. He has the suit, though. He's looking nice. I, I'm glad they both picked purple because purple is my favorite. Ooh. Oh, Joe Capsule, no answer. He got the bread and butter down. But Jozer is basically about to take it. And ladies and gentlemen, all the costumes. At least on the stream, you got to have all the costumes. Come on. It looks much better that way. It's prettier. Smithsonian. Sal Pacino. Nice parry by Smith Sal Pacino, but Smithsonian looking nice with the Honda. Here he goes. Oh, Sal Pacino trying to spiral arrow. Smithsonian saying, I want none of that, sir. And geez, just like that. Look what's going on. Okay, wait. Sal Pacino firing back. Uses his level one. Gets some damage on the board. But it's it's a long way to the top. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. And right now, Smithsonian rock and rolling with some anti-airs. All day, all night. What's up? And okay. Okay, Sal Pacino looking a lot better this this round. I like what I see from him. He's actually taking it to Smithsonian. Maybe Sal Pacino just needs a round um, or a match to warm up, just like he did with Loki Flexin. Um, he adapts. He's an adapter. But right now, it's a little tough. Smithsonian. And again, it's okay. Look. Oh, geez. Sal, Sal Pacino with all the faces in the world. He did this last time, though, against Loki Flexen, and it ended up a lot better for him. Okay, wow, what a grab. That was a creepy grab. He, he, he just dashed straight in. That was risky, but he got it. And he has Smithsonian in the corner. Oh, headbutts all day. Those are annoying. Headbutts all day. How dare he? How dare he? Just headbutts all day, and now Sal Pacino is burnt out. Oh my gosh, this is tough for Sal. 
Okay. What's Sal ever to do? He's down in life. He got his drive gauge back. Smithsonian going with headbutts all day. Yes. Sal Pacino just jumping away. He doesn't want to get headbutted. He's trying to figure this out. Ihan is tough. Look. Boom. Get off of me attack. Headbutts, headbutts. Why not? Oh my gosh. Headbutts again. E Honda, jeez. Okay. Oh my. Wow, and that was a meaty headbutt. And wow, Sal Pacino, not much life to work with. He needs to do something now. And ooh, the hooligan combination. Oh, he didn't go for level three. Oh, didn't block. This is all this is all Smithsonian right now. Sal Pacino, not much to work with. What's it going to be? He's playing patiently and a little too patient. Sal Pacino. And he's a pretty good DJ. And he got grand final. He put, dude, he made, it was him and LPN like last weekend or two weekends ago at a Capital Fight District. It was like a $1,000 pot. And he got grand finals with DJ. He's a Mortal Kombat player. All right, who's he fighting here? Oh, it's Gunshin. It's Gunshin with the Nostalgia Ken. I feel like Michelangelo has a good fireball game with DJ. Like, he just makes it work. Ooh, we got a fan for Michelangelo. And a heart? A heart? He got a heart. I'm going to tell him he got a heart. That's crazy. Ooh, yeah, the EX fireball is going to cut right through that. Yeah, see the thing about this? If you don't if you don't deal with that DJ fireball, your meter is just going to get burnt out. Michelangelo one early. We got some Michelangelo fans. That's awesome. He's a great guy. I love him. Ooh, I like that little sweep he does. Very uh, crispy sweep. I just wish I knew what DJ was saying when he throws a double fireball. Oh, nice uppercut. So Scunchin played a guy, a DJ, right before this, and Scunchin's pretty good at uh, anti-air uppercutting the, the short hop kick. Yeah, that kick right there, he's pretty good at uppercutting that. Okay, first round of Scunchin. It's funny because Gunshin used to win all these tournaments back in the vanilla days with Sagat. He used to be a great player. He still is a great player. You know, he's just busy with life stuff. Oh, low jab. Sweep again. Nice. Oh, dude, you guys got to watch out for those DI resets. They're going to, you know, screw you. Oh. Yeah, Michael Angel is just grooving right now. Oh. Oh. Keep in mind, Michelangelo fought LPN in, in, in Grand Finals in a very high pressure, high pressure tournament, and that was like he plays Ken also. So, I think Michelangelo right now is not afraid of any Ken, unless it's LPN. But even then, oh shoot! What is this third strike? Okay, jab, 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 super. Is he going to rush in? No, oh, regular fireball. Yeah, this is like... It's scary. I bet a lot of you wondering, like, why doesn't Scunchin just jump in? I'll tell you why. Because DJ will fake the fireball. Oh, Michael will fake the fireball. And then catch him in a trap. See, like, why don't you, why don't you just jump? He wants to, believe me. But you can't jump like a fool. This is a tough situation. Oh, it's over. It's done. This is just... It's done. Once, If you're burnt out with no super... It's checkmate. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it's DJ's theme. So this is, like, really bad for Scunchy right now because it's DJ's background... It's his stage, and it's his music. And it's Michelangelo. So DJ's got a good pilot. He's got the right tunes. And he's fighting right at home in Jamaica. Oh, that, oh, that was a really good sneaky throw. 
See, I told you. He's hella good at doing the uppercuts on the top kick. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe his gun's waking up. Maybe he's waking up. I have never seen someone cross under like that. That was freaking sick. Oh. Uh -huh. Michael Lange is getting some good mileage out of that little uh, low medium kick. Here's the thing right now, people really complain about DJ's drive rush, but Michael doesn't even need it. He doesn't even need it. Look at that. Look at that crispy movement. He's controlling the space, taking a sweet time. Man. Oh, that's unfortunate. And this is game. Oh, no super needed. So let's see what happens. Does Jozer have the answer to the, to Julio? Because Julio looking real comfortable right now. He has all the setups. Oh, he's looking scary. Yep. Julio looking real intimidating right now with this uh, JP play. What can he do against this? Joser! Jeez, and, and look, see? This is this is how you become champion. You just you just you just keep doing the same thing and you become champion. And wow, Julio with the perfect so far. Wow. Going Julio said, I'm going right in. Joser trying to figure it out. Julio slips in the grab. Now he got all the pressure in the world. Nice by Joser to, to poke out at least. He's trying to poke out. Got to get out of there. And look at that. Wow, standing just right out of range. Oh, and Julio first match. Taking it. Jeez, Julio. Looking like a G right now. Looking real nice. And it's going to be tough to beat Julio. Like, what can you do against this? What can you guys stream? Help out Jozer. Okay, Jozer got something now. Remember, Jozer always needs one round, run match to adapt. Maybe this is it. Just Jozer got something in his. But Jozer's almost burnt out. He is almost burnt out. Jeez, he's just saying here. He's a he's a he's a giving man. Oh, and Julio ready for it. R Julio ready for the drive impact. He's coming back. Look at the setup. What is this trickiness? What is this nastiness? Oh, my gosh. And just like that, Julio, match point against Jozer. So Julio's doing what Jozer did to Joe Capsule and just bopping right now. Jozer needs to get up and get, get him off of him. But Julio got Jozer in the corner. Oh, Jozer, not much more life to work with. It's looking bad. It's looking grim. What can he do? He's setting up, though. He's trying something. Okay. He got Julio a little bit. He's taking him down. He's taking his health down. Nice grab by Jozer. It's not over yet. Jo oh, but now it is. Julio. Looked real nice with the JP. Unstoppable. Unstoppable. What up, guys? It's your boy Capsule here. Cloud through that 21 man bracket. All right, Smithsonian getting, getting a nice, nice combo. There. Oh, you know, punish though. That's a lot of damage. Gonna get beefed up. Parries all around. A. Hey. Hey, what's up, lady? I'm Ayumi. Good to see you. Been a while. There we go. Oh, 
Oh yeah, come through. More people the merrier here. We're all just hanging out, having a good time. And Smithsonian takes that. That first game, that was uh, pretty quick. Turned around for a second. Ah, uh, Smithsonian. All right, Michael Lennon's like, get off me, bro. He's only trying to get in there, but he's just like, nope. Jab, jab, jab. All right. Here comes Smithsonian, though. Oh, here gets the full combo. Oh, good meterless. He's getting scooped up. See what Michelangelo can do. Oh man, but he tries to zone him out, but he gets punished with a jump in. That hurts. Wow, try to jump with that standing fierce just chopped. Chopped him right out of there. Scooped up off the ground. Oh my god, is it almost over? Oh my god. Rage. Ah! Oh my god, the the panicking anti-air EX. Oh man. Smithsonian though, he get it. These guys are training partners, they play all the time at Madhouse, and they're out here at YouthNet representing right now. Let's see what happens. Michelangelo putting a bunch of pressure on right now, getting Jamie in the corner. All right, no tech on that throw. Here's another schmix. A lot of pressure from Michelangelo. He's just putting those plus frames on him right now. Good jump back from Loki Flex and trying to get out of there, but Michelangelo blocks it, gets him in the corner now. What's he gonna do about it? Wow, that might have hit if he did it a little bit later. But I got hit by that a few times, but from Loki Flex in, in tournament before. That's that's a tricky one. Oh, ate that up. We ate, he ate that up. Alright. Michelangelo's DJ tossing him in the corner. What's he going to do with it? Blocks the overhead. Right. Applying a little bit of pressure. Didn't want to get put in the corner. I respect that. Here comes Michelangelo. Same idea, but get hits with a drive impact. Here comes a really sick combo from DJ. A lot of damage. It's cool to see DJ back and actually really strong in this game. That's cool, man. That was a lot of damage. See how much damage that did? Ooh. Drive rush, stand light kick. Michelangelo writing some stuff on the uh, camera. The jab trade, though. Oh, nice footsies right there. Checking them. All right, we got a nice little combo there. Oh, but he gets the jump in like it, gets the confirm. Nice, perfect parry. Taking that free damage. Bam. All right, in the corner. What's it gonna be? Tries to cross him up, but he looks like he got out of it. He knew it was coming. Didn't want to be in that situation. I don't blame him. Wow, all these pokes though. Anti-air. Here he comes, applying that pressure again. What are you doing, bro? You want to? You want to jump? Nah, I ain't, I ain't having none of that. Oh, here he comes again. Oh man, wasn't ready for that. Didn't expect him to do the drive impact. Dancing on him. Wake up super. And gets punished. Bet it all on that. Neutral jumper right into the fireballs. Hate when you ha that happens. That happens to me sometimes, and I'm just like, ugh. Nice low. Alright, get the Try to rush in, tries to put him in the corner, but Michael Anthony's like, nope. You're in the corner, bro. That's where you belong. All right. Good combo from Loki Flexin. Michelangelo just stuffing a lot of stuff that 
low-key low key flexing is trying to do. That includes, you know, just get in and just, you know, stay out of the corner. Oh, good mix-up right there with the fake. Look at this move. Why did they give him that? But it's cool that they did it because it's very interesting. Oh, anti-air EX. We'll see, we'll, see, we'll see soon enough. Let's see what it is. Oh, yeah, that's a button check for sure. Either that or they're just super fucking turtling right now. Hell is scared of each other. A shout out to Kwamba USA sponsoring YouthNet Cyber Cafe and Capsule Entertainment for many years now. And I'm talking since back in the day, since MGL, Lupita's Golfland. So shout out to them. Much love to them. They, I mean, they're always there for us and we're always uh, appreciative of what they do for the community, especially here in NorCal. Of course, shout out to YouthNet Cyber Cafe for housing Capsule Entertainment and the NorCal fighting game community. That doesn't discriminate. We even got Smash out here. Got Street Fighter today, Tekken tomorrow, and soon Mortal Kombat on Fridays. Let's fucking go! All right, here we go. Round one. DM Sal Pacino. Oh, tries to jump in, empty something, but Jose was like, "Nope." He was just like, "Light, light, stop." Lows, watch your toes. Oh, scooped him up. He thought it was gonna be an overhead, but it was just a, it's a command grab. We'll just walk up on you, bro. Cross up attempt, but the nice parry from Jozer. Jozer uh, changes his name to Jozer from originally Hoser, so it's, that's gonna kind of mix me up. But I'm gonna get used to it. I'm gonna adapt. Ray. <sighs> I keep saying Rage Drive. I don't know why. I think that's another mechanic from another game. Drive Rush overhead. Here comes the punish. Bam, bam. Free damage. Meterless. Wow. Hit confirmed that into super. Alright. Yeah, parrying jump ins is kind of scary. Oh my gosh. The whiff on the DP right there. Here comes the free meterless. What's going to be? Okay. Why are you blocking low, bro? Hit you on the head. Oh, you're dead, bro. You're dead. GG's. GG's. Next. That's what we used to say in the arcade. Next. <laughs> I remember that shit <laughs> at Golfland. Next. Oh, drive rush throw? Bro, that is... I hate that in this game. Because you think it's going to be like a, a normal, but it's a throw. What the... KOF 15! <laughs> That's the KOF 15 right there. The combo changes in the air, right? <laughs> Here comes the punish. He needs to hit confirm that. He's gonna pay for it, bro. Oh, he's burnt out too. All oh, bad. Oh my. Hoser's JP is sexy. Oh my goodness. Sal, whoa, Sal giving no fucks. Going in! His giving no fucks is costing him though. He's, he's going too reckless, bro. Calm down. Oh shit. Okay. Nice little combo there. Alright. Oh my god. Of course. JP is so fair. Oh, nice anti air. That was sick. Oh my god. He converted off of that? That's crazy. Whoa. Sal. Oh, that was actually pretty good, Sal. Get him, get him! Oh my gosh. Hit a button and paid for it. Oh my gosh. Is he dead? He should be dead. And he is. Care to know how this ends. Peace. Uh, we got Michelangelo and uh, Dozer going right up. All right, here we go. Uh, 
Good parry. Like it. I like it. I mean, I feel like if you could have if you parried there, you could have just drive impact there too. <laughs> I, I feel like unless you know, unless that wasn't a good idea. I don't. I'm really sure. I don't. Know. I'm just thinking. I'm just. My brain just going crazy right now. Oh my god, he was so afraid of something. Ah! It, it doesn't quite work like that against JP because he's such a good zoner. He doesn't even have to like pressure you like the other characters do. He can stay like out of that footsie range and do something very effective. When he gets to drive impact, here comes the combo overhead. It does a little split move at the end. Look at that line in the background, bro. Alright, Michelangelo crosses him up, gets a nice combo. Tries to get something on Meaty, but it whiffed. Nice, get him off me combo from Dozer. Okay, okay. Parry those, we parry those. Yes, yes. And then we walk up. That was a good uh, drive rush from Michelangelo, though. He knew that he was going to do something to try and get out of that. Slid right underneath. Okay, Michelangelo needs to chill out and just like not lose his composure here. He got the life lead. Then he gets to confirm. I like it. All right, here we go. Michelangelo getting in there. Not getting too flustered by the JP. All right. Wow, good, perfect parry. Look at Jozer with the perfect parry into the combo. Look at that crappy ass damage though. Man, please, hashtag buff parry. Buff perfect parry. Uh, oh my goodness. You get you, like you get a two frame fucking perfect parry, and they punish you with the fifty percent damage nerf. Feels bad, okay? Like that shit is hard, okay? It ain't easy. It ain't a walk in the park, and then they're gonna go and punish you for it. Come on. Anyway, we're back to the match. Damn, level three. Yes, of course, it's going to be fierce into command grab. Oh, my God. Anti-air, stay out of the air, bro. Woo! Yeah, you get anything you want. For, uh, for mostly, from what I understand, uh, unless they do, like, a jump in, apparently. Then it gets kind of, like, tricky because there's only so many things you can do. That you can do whatever you want. If it's on the ground, yeah, you get you pretty much get whatever you want. Wow, I, a, a interesting choice to jump forward when you react to the drive rush. I feel like it, in some cases it might be better to neutral jump because you know they're gonna try to either hit a button or throw or something like that. You could try, you could get like a finish counter. I think. But I'm curious to know what he was trying to do there. Oh my gosh, that was a good confirm with Stan Pierce. Whoa. Yeah, that throw's crazy, though. You see that? Kick him in the face. Oh, my God. The jump-in light kick? Look at the depth. Off of a jump-in light kick? I like it. I like things like that. All right. All right. Drop the combo, but it's okay. Yeah, drive rush throw. Got to keep that in the back of their head at all times. Like that pressure, he's burnt out, so he can't do anything. Get the free kill, yes, indeed. Michelangelo fighting back. Ow! Oh my! This is gonna be a lot. Of, this is look at the look at the life. Boom! There goes fifty percent of your health. Oh, you want to jump? No, you can't. Okay, Michelangelo, let's see what you got. Doesn't know what to do against this zoner. He's trying to zone, but this character is the ultimate zoner. KOF 69 win. That's Mug that's Mugen stuff right here. there. Look at this. Okay, here we go. Wait, is this winner's final or something? Okay. Winner's final. Uh, first of three.
What? Yeah, he has been. Smithonian's always out here doing work. He's gonna give Julio a word for it, that's for sure. Let's see what Julio can do about it. Because Smithonian gets in, and Julio stays out. <laughs> so let's see what happens. So far, Julio's doing a good job. Oh, watch, watch your toes, bro. Watch your toes. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, okay. Wow, he just knew? You snap moment? It's Miguel? I cannot believe it. How come that how come that's not your name in, in Star DG, Digitalism? Look at this combo. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for uh, coming out. Thanks for coming out. Michelangelo and uh, Loki Flexin are uh, leaving the building. It's good having him out here as always. Oh shit, man. It Miguel. Well, who's a famous Miguel? Miguel. Who's a famous Miguel? Tekken. Tekken Miguel. <laughs> That's the only other Miguel that I can think of. There's a beer called San Miguel. That shit was pretty cool. <laughs> I'm thirsty. Did you see the range on that fierce? <laughs> what the hell, Dawson? <laughs> Yoga Dawson. Perfect parry. Okay. Fucking uh, Honda in this game is giving me Third Strike Chun Li vibes. <laughs> oh my <What>? god. <laughs> How so? The fucking normals and like the, the damage and the preferred and shit. Spider Man 2099. How do you figure? Spider Man 2099? That's what I said. I, was I, like, I, know, I know what that is. What's the co what, what? What is it? That's, a, uh, that's from the comic. A different version of Spider Man. Oh shit. Like from the future. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. He looks cool. I like Spider Man 29 though. His name is Miguel, okay. I didn't know his real name. I just used to have the the Marvel Masterpiece cards. Uh -huh. And he was on there. I think he was like one of the hollows. Oh damn. The hollow foil. Oh, nice anti air. I knew it. Oh my god. Drink a man, whip, what what what? What? Why aren't you out here this week <laughs> leveling up? I'm just kidding, bro. People have their reasons. <laughs> oh. oh, stay your ass at home. <laughs> That's a, that, <laughs> that 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 is. I okay. If it's one thing I respect more than anything, if when you're sick, don't don't fucking come to a tournament <laughs> and get everyone else sick. Like right. stay your ass at home. Right. Like I hate when people do that, man. Then they, like Julio said, they dropped the COVID bomb and fucking, you know, and <laughs> everywhere. Like, goddamn terrorists. Oh my god. Biological weapons. Yeah. Oh my god. So I respect it. I respect the staying at home when you're sick. Shit, man. Hey, I remember you, Viperus. We played some 98. That was fun. Get back out here. Come with Elric. That's your boy, right? Oh, he plays 98? I mean, he came one time, I think, for 15. Oh. And then, and then we were, like, just casual. Oh, that's right. We were playing some 98 He came, casuals. like, one time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I blame Vipress for KOF 15 dying. <laughs> like, if you would have came out and, like, supported, bro, KOF dude, 15 would have survived. Dude, and, why? Oh, my the God. The entire scene was depending on yeah, you. Yeah, we were, we were depending on you to, like, <laughs> Save us from drowning. For sure, bro. I'm just kidding, bro. Ooh, damn. That fucking react? The level one super? Damn, Julio? Oh, Julio's staying out of that range. Oh, the Honda checks. These guys are. 
very calculated right now. Oh my. Bam. He knew it. That was sick. You knew. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my. Dude. Oh my. Oh my. <gasps> you see that? That was so ambiguous right there. I didn't even know that was going to cross up. Wow. He just scooped him up like that? Damn. Burnout. Bro. Good luck. They're both burnout though. God. Look, who little scared. He don't want to hit no bites. Oh my. Oh, the check. Oh, they both got me there. Oh, that was so dangerous. <gasps> the confirm from Julio. Oh, though. my God. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Watching the movie. <laughs> yeah, the supers in this game are pretty damn. Here's to a fair fight. This is coming from JP. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, these crystals are straight out of Crash Bandicoot. All right, here we go. Sonia, what you gonna do? Damn, onto another JP, bro. <laughs> the the NorCal JP's JP train. Oh, that was oh, that was sick. Was it me or wasn't there, there wasn't too many of them at uh, CEO, at, in the top, you know, eight? Bro, I don't watch streams. Oh. <laughs> like, like, okay, people always ask me that shit. Huh. People always ask me that crap. <laughs> if Did you, you watch, watch the latest stream? <laughs> like, the last fucking thing I want to do on my day off is fighting game anything, bro, okay? I'm fucking fighting game right. all day, every day. Like, I'm trying to eat some pho. I am trying to eat some fun. Trying to eat some ramen. The, the last fucking thing that's on my mind is anything fighting game related. If you <laughs> even mention fighting game to me on my dad, I'll slap you. Like, <laughs> like, no, I did Hundred not hand watch slap. the stream. I Hundred did not watch slap. no stream. Fuck that. But anyway, back to the <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's Marcy. Marcy is. I hell? missed the Marcy show. I'm disappointed. The Marcy all right. show. Yeah, I used to, I used to watch Marcy show all the time. Marcy, you gotta you gotta play some Might Magic Clash of Heroes. I love that puzzle game. That's my favorite. Like, uh, one, oh, I want to say my favorite, but one of my favorite puzzle games. <laughs> that and um, I love Puyo. Puyo's really fun. Puyo, Puyo, Julio, what are you doing, Julio? I'm gonna stop it right now. Julio. Ooh, to the wow. Oh my, oh my god! Oh my gosh! The... Oh Hop my. in the fence? What was he doing? <laughs> I mean, that was cool. But it didn't work cool. out, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm curious to know what the plan was. What was the Keikaku? I, I, I keep thinking Julio's playing. Who, who's that? <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. It's Jozer, though, but I, I, the Jozer. Yeah, we just seen. That's why I'm getting like mind fucked right now. Dojo. Which dojo? All the JPs looking like this. So we all wear purple too. <laughs> That's the thing. Mike wear, use purple. I use purple. It's Julio. Orochi, man. It's Orochi Julio. JP. No, Julio uses yellow. That's right. Gold. <laughs> See, even Hoser's using the purple. You gotta convert Julio to the purple uh, JP game. Yeah. <laughs> Just do it. It's like the Nor the NorCal staple. Yeah. That'll be the trademark. Oh, they just... <laughs> you see what right. Dash up, grab, and you grab two, and they're like... <laughs> That's so funny when that oh, happens. Oh, Orenchi? I know about that ramen. Is that what you're talking about? I said Orochi. Oh, that's a KOF thing, but hey, Orenchi, that's, that shit is fire. <laughs> Orenchi ramen. Your boy's hella hungry right now. I'm waiting for that in and out. You guys over here talking about ramen and shit. I'm fucking. <laughs> stomach is growling. Fuck. <laughs> Don't do that shit. 
Oh! Oh! Inside joke with kinetics. Oh. Orenchi. <laughs> oh, that always happens to me. I need to watch out for that too. Look at that damage. Pretty good. He's steaming. Burb. Okay, nice combo. I like it. Oh my god, Honda? Oh my god, that could have been a, a, a fierce uh, slap. Watch the toes, bro. Oh, god. I use that as an anti too, but in a lot of cases when I use it, it's a bad idea. Whoa! He jumped, but hit him out of the air with that. It might have been better to try and just parry it. Oh, God. <laughs> Always try and like perfect parry that or something. Oh my gosh, that is so dirty. <laughs> Drive rush. Oh, that's Brand the counter? Rap. Is that the counter? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's an overhand? That's meaty? Is that an overhand? No, that's just a... Oh, what the fuck, bro? He just hit a button? Oh, my God. That's pretty good. Damn. I have the I have the new one. The new... Put put the other one. The other one I just made. It's in there. It's in there. Yeah. I just made the new emote today. For all the, the subs. There it is! Look at your boy, the Golfland Dragon, bro. You know you got oh. to remember. Oh, what is that with the glasses? With the glass, bro. <laughs> I we need to give him a blunt in his mouth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man, dude. That's just Twitch. Twitch just has those. <laughs> oh, it's like they auto generate. Yeah, no, the what the just, heck? Twitch just makes that. Oh. They give you the automat uh, auto. Every time you make an emote, they have that. <laughs> oh my god, empty jump to throw into tech. Oh, in the corner. <laughs> Are they? Oh, uh, he gotta go. Oh, okay. okay. Who, I'll be right back, guys. Go? Who gotta go? Oh. oh, oh. Joe is being cash money right now, handing out some dollar bills. All right, well, um, uh, Jozer is uh, leaving the building. Good games to him. Get to put up a good uh, <laughs> showing out here. Oh, well, wait, what? I need to read this one. <laughs> no, no. He's still wearing the purple under? Yeah, he is. Under the gold, under the gold um, coat. Purple and gold. Lakers? Damn. <sighs> I'm 
Miguel's probably not here because he's burned out from all that crazy Tekken that just took place. I know, I'm surprised Miguel's not here. But he's a Tekken player. Hell yeah. But yeah, he is definitely burned His out. His mind is still Tekken. blown. I think he told me he wasn't coming. This week. That, I mean, last week was crazy. The whole weekend, yeah, right? It was like, yeah. a, what is it, like a three day event? Two day event? Yeah. It was, it was uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thir uh, Thursday was um, the Ratio Rumble, uh -huh. which is a three up to three-man team tournament. And then uh, Friday was 10v10 NorCal versus SoCal. And then Saturday was an open bracket, uh, singles bracket. All, all three days were hype. Nice. It was fun. It was good seeing. It was good meeting all the NorCal tech. I mean, so Cal, Cal second place. Nice. Whoa, washed. Totally washed. Tech until 5 a.m. You know what I was doing at 5 a.m.? I was dreaming. Dreaming of Ufnet, literally. <laughs> that sucks. Even when I'm sleeping, I'm at work. <laughs> that shit sucks, bro. Oh my god. Bro, you said that combo? Build a bear? That shit was tight. That shit was tight. Yeah, burnout and all that chip damage. Oh my god, he burnt him out by doing that. Nice anti air. That was it. <laughs> what time is it? 11:23. All right, D. You know what time it is, though. You know what 11:23 is? In, into the out time. Uh, is it over? Or they still got one game. They still got another game. Oh, okay. That's only two. D did the scores. KO3 crackhead. <laughs> He's just <laughs> going in. Fucking <laughs> D. He knows Reggie loves that KOF. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't do that yet. <laughs> Reggie, did you play KOF 11? Um, I'm trying to. Um, well, we played it last time when I brought my PS2. You, you, you did play it, like like, uh, like back in the day. Like though? um, not well. I guess I guess you could say that I I had it and I was kind of playing it like when it came out like yeah. on consoles, yeah. uh, the PS2 version. But like you know, I can't say I really learned like the meta or whatever. Uh, I just yeah. know that KGO Kula Gato Oswald was the law of the land, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. But that game looks hella fun. Like, like I definitely want to play that here. The what, assist, it had like assist or something. Or tag it, it, it was like it was like tag actual in? tagging. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. You got you got him. He's gonna play with K Web with you. Get him <laughs> up on Discord. I see you, Viperus. I mean, I don't really play online, but like I think I added you on Steam. Uh, like, uh, I, I got your uh, handle like after you played that one day. So, I got you. I got you. Oh my god, Julio. Julio's hungry. He wants that in and 